Well, my first introduction to the Banner of Truth was the Banner of Truth magazine in 1959, issue number 17. And Andrew Davis, who is uh, 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 an old friend, his, his fiancée uh, gave me it, her father-in-law, uh, the most uh, notable and successful of uh, Presbyterian ministers in Wales, was a subscriber. When he finished, gave it to his son, Andrew. Andrew gave it to Palm, and Palm passed it to me, and I read it, and I was gripped by it, and found it relevant and uh, insightful in its analysis of uh, the theological woe of a declining church in, in, in Wales because of uh, its liberalism. And, and found then the um, magazines every month uh, enormously helpful. And they introduced me then to the books that uh, uh, came out, particularly A Body of Divinity by Thomas Watson. I, I found that uh, so joyful to read, so uh, uh, insightful and uh, stimulating and simple and yet very deep um, and uh, that's where I began and then uh, as the paperbacks came out J.C. Ryle and uh, the uh, historical books the five Christian leaders and uh, the reformers uh, uh, and then uh, uh, everything that Ryle wrote I found it enormously encouraging and rebuking, strengthening.